Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's just philosophize a little bit. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the bottom of anything on this video. Usually I like to have tips and tricks on how to become mentally stronger, how to get on top of your mindset, mind, body, and soul programming. Sometimes I like to just philosophize about topics so we can understand them better. Let's talk about evil. Evil. It's such a, 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 a heavy word. I'm sure there's synonyms for evil, but when you say the word evil, it has a religious connotation. It's like the worst kind of bad guy you could be. You could be bad, but when you're evil, you're worse than bad. Think of the devil. The devil's not just a supervillain. He's not just like the Joker. He's way worse than the Joker. He's the, the worst person out there, right? This is, we've, we've personified evil. But when you try to define it, the word evil, it gets to be really hard. I mean, we can Google it and look up the definition, but it gets to be rather subjective. I don't think evil is an absolute truth. I think culturally, historically, politically, where you are in your class, your race, your creed, your, you know, where you are in your grouping could define what you think is evil. If, if you're liberal, you may feel very strongly that having billionaires for people to be able to hoard money like that that that's one of the evils of capitalism. That you may feel very strongly that deregulation of corporations or the lack of regulation of corporations creates robber barons that we, like we used to have in the Gilded Age and creates a certain brand of evil that we've seen in, in the turn of the century where uh, workers here in America were exploited with uh, like the Lowell factories where women and children were jumping out of windows killing themselves where the uh, Pinkertons were paid to, to, to shoot down uh, union workers and strikers and we could look at this behavior if you're liberal and you can look at that as being evil we could look at Hitler as being evil. You could look at all kinds of things being evil, but then there's always another side to it. The conservative, they believe in a certain brand of meritocracy where capitalism and the ability to reap the rewards off of your hard work should be unlimited and unchecked and unregulated and the government should have one job only and that's just really to protect the borders. They don't have the same outlook on the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the Stearns, the Carnegies. They don't look at them as evil. The Elon Musks, the Jeff Bezos, they don't look at any of that stuff as evil. They, they don't look at uh, deregulation of corporations as evil. They don't look at union busting as evil. You could talk to a delusional German. Well, we'd have to have a time machine. But if you did, you could talk to a German. And there were many fucking delusional Germans during World War II. People who were regular people. Who fell under Hitler's sweet tongue, his silver tongue. And that they somehow went along with, silently went along with a program that was pure evil. Might that be going on right now? Maybe in China? It's hard to get someone like Jackie Chan to talk shit about the Chinese government. In fact, Jackie Chan stopped making movies in America. That's why you haven't seen him in any movies in the last few years. He said, fuck you. The Chinese government is, are they evil? I mean, it's all subjective. It just depends on who you ask. We could just go down the line, man. I mean, there's all kinds of examples of this. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. 
see this with the whole Northern Ireland and England debate with their, they've been fighting it for a long time with, what do they call themselves now, Sinn Féin I think it is, they used to be the IRA. I've talked to people that are all entrenched in that battle and both sides hate each other and they both feel like they're right and they both have these horrible stories of what the opposite, what the, what the enemy has done to them justifying, it's like gang wars. My dad used to talk about the enemy as being evil. He would try to indoctrinate me about the enemy, try to brainwash me like a cult. From the time I was a teenager, he would talk to me about the enemy being evil. Like as if they were Satan-worshipping, baby-eating psychos. And then my dad's side were good, wholesome defenders. <laughs> like this was the Justice League against, you know, the Legion of Doom. It's the way he was trying to paint it. It's hard to define evil. I personally believe that evil is acts of violence towards innocence. So for example, if you hurt a child, that's evil in my opinion. If you hurt a bunch of innocent people like in a terrorist attack, to me that's evil. Now I'm, I'm sure that you could go to certain countries in the Middle East and they will think that Bin Laden was a hero for bringing down the buildings in New York and the terrorist attacks of 9-11. That that was some courageous act of freedom or whatever the hell. I'm sure you could find people that paint it that way to justify it. But my view, this is why evil is subjective and not in, uh, uh, an absolute truth. My view is it was an act of evil because of the innocence. Anytime you hurt innocence, if you go kick a puppy, that's I I evil. But I can't force that belief on you. I may believe that. But I can't, and you might agree with me if you're like me, but I can't force that on you. I can't force my definition of evil on another man. And I can't do it using God. This is why the Christians get annoying because they try to force their belief of what evil is on another person, their definition of it, and then try to use the almighty God, the highest power, as their, you know, as their backup. <laughs> the religious people, they uh, think everything's evil. I had a retail clothing store, and I've mentioned it before, and it was started off all biker shit just to promote my motorcycle shop when I first opened that store it was motorcycle parts helmets jackets I had a few motorcycles in there for sale I sold bikes out of the store it, but it was a separate location than the shop it eventually over a few years turned into a goddamn t-shirt shop <laughs> just like Hot Topic but it was fun I had a lot of kids shopping there but it was a punk rock heavy metal merchandise a lot of the heavy metal merchandise, since we're in Central Florida and death metal is popular, and I did music promotions also at the time. I promoted heavy metal bands. So I would have a lot of satanic merchandise. I had shirts that say, I love Lucifer, satanic army, e keep music evil, I had all kinds of stuff like that as well as band merchandise like from Cannibal Corpse. Google Cannibal Corpse and look at some of their images. You'll be shocked. You can do it while I'm talking. Cannibal Corpse has the most shocking merchandise and we would have their t-shirts and I'd put that shit right in the window on mannequins because it draws people's eye. <laughs> One day I had this monk, an actual monk. He's wearing like this robe. He's got his head shaved he's like a monk from like TV. And he's out front of the store on his fucking knees. I look out there, and I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? So I go out there. I was probably wearing a shirt with a pentagram on it or something. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like, well, I'm praying for your soul, obviously. <laughs> I let him do it. I'm not going to stop. You want to pray for me? I'm not going to stop you. I'm still going to sell this shit. But it's hard to define evil. Look at animals. We can sit and talk as humans about what evil is and make a list. 
Every single thing on that motherfucking list gets blown away when we look at the animal world. Are animals evil? Do animals go to hell? Are there evil animals? Lions, they live in, a, in, a, in their grouping, it's called a pride, the pride of lions. I've been to Africa, I was on safari in Africa in 1986 for about two months, extended stay. We went to Kenya, uh, we went to Tanzania, I was in all the most famous game parks, and it was pretty amazing, photographic safari. Lions are brutal, and their family structure is brutal. And a male lion that's horny, it's all he's gotta be is horny, he just wants to get some pussy. He looks over at the chicks in the pride, and if none of them want to fuck, a lot of times they will only, the female lions will only really be sexual like other cats when they go into heat. It's mating season kind of thing. Humans don't, we don't do this. Humans don't go into heat. I mean, maybe some chicks do. It just depends what bar you hang out at. But if a male lion is feeling horny and the chick isn't feeling like fucking, what he can do is go and kill her kids, kill her cubs. Just, just tear him apart. He wouldn't eat him. He's not gonna eat him. He's just gonna kill him. Leave a bunch of little dead cubs there. And the female lion's gonna freak out. She's gonna be all upset. But biologically, she can't control it. In order to reproduce, because they have to fucking survive. It's a survival thing. It's genetically encoded in them. The cat, the lion, will go into heat. So this is all, the, the, the male lion knows this, and this is his plot just to get some ass, and he'll kill her kids just to get up in there. It's brutal. You're killing babies to go and fuck a chick. I mean, put that together in your head, that's terrible. Is that evil? Does that lion, this happens every day in the lion world, do they all go to hell? Chimps. Chimps are brutal. They have really tight-knit groupings, family structures, and they'll fight against each other to the death. The chips within their family structure have a pretty strict set of rules and if somebody isn't obeying the rules and they're really fucking up and they're annoying the rest of the male chimps and the rest of the chimps in the group are just like man you know that dude is really fucking up all the time he's constantly fucking up they'll turn on him and attack him and eat him in a rage <laughs> Imagine if you did that to one of your buddies. You and your friends just got sick of Tom, and one day you, you're sitting around drinking beers, and you're like, well, that's it. And you all just go and eat them in a rage. You know, we don't do that. Chimps do it all the time. Is it evil? Dolphins? Dolphins have sex through gang rape. That's how dolphins, that's how dolphin babies are born. Their mom, every dolphin mom has been gang raped, brutally and awfully gang raped. I mean, it's fish rape. I guess they're not fish, but you know what I mean. Do they all go to hell? What the hell is evil? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.